Hey, what's going on guys? It's ETA Prime back here again. Today I'm back with the Latte Panda and I'm testing the full version of Minecraft. This is not the Windows 10 version that's on the App Store. This is the full version of Minecraft. I do have Optifine installed and what Optifine allows me to do is change pretty much every graphical feature that we normally couldn't change within Minecraft. Um, we have quality, performance. Right now I have the rendering distance on 8, graphics on fast, and it's running pretty smooth. If I press F3 here, we can see I have a decent frame rate. Around 30 FPS, it does drop off. So this is the 2 gigabyte version of the Latte Panda. It has 2 gigabytes of DDR3 RAM, 32 gigabyte onboard storage, a quad core Atom X5 8300 CPU clocked in at 1.6 gigahertz. It does turbo to 1.8 gigahertz. But uh, yeah, this runs pretty good. I'm actually surprised at how well it is running. Now there's a couple little tests that I want to do. I want to do some dynamite tests, some TNT tests. Now, if you play Minecraft, you know when blowing up TNT on a low-end computer, it can freeze everything up pretty badly. And I'm pretty sure we're definitely going to get some major FPS loss when we blow up some TNT. So let's try it out over here. I'm already set up here. And I'll just set a bunch around. Okay, yeah, so it pretty much froze the game. Now, as soon as all the particles are gone, we'll probably have the same frame rate we just did. Yeah. That was the main thing I was worried about. Now, if you're not using TNT too much, you can definitely play this game on the Latte Panda with no trouble at all. Even without Optifine installed, I got around 25 FPS. With the settings I have set up now, it didn't help too much with the Optifine, but this is a small, single board, cheap computer. I mean, it has an Atom quad-core CPU. It's really not that bad. I mean, the CPU is not super powerful, but, but it plays a lot of older games, and as you can see here, we have a decent, respectable frame rate in Minecraft. I just wanted to show you guys this. I will be doing more tests with the Latte Panda. It's running Windows 10 now, and I have been able to install Android on it, Android x86, but I didn't want to flash it over just yet. I want to get as much testing out of the way with Windows 10 before I start flashing the internal storage to Linux, Android, and possibly some other OSs. I appreciate you guys watching. If you could, hit that like button and subscribe because I have a lot more coming. 